Researchers and CNM students are going back to the land before time, as they call it. In this case, Clayton Lake State Park, where 100 million year old dinosaur tracks can be found. As Rachel Knapp shows us, they're teaming up with state parks and the New Mexico Natural History Museum to better preserve and research the tracks with modern technology. It's like a scene straight out of the movie Jurassic Park. Be amongst the dinosaur tracks. At Clayton Lake State Park, researchers were able to walk among the dinosaurs. Well, at least walk along their tracks. Right, left, right, left. Our history is right here. These tracks are about 100 million years old. Okay, so here's the footprint. See this? These are three toes. Researchers say millions of years ago, this part of Clayton Lakes was near the sea, a place where dinos would often visit. The dinosaurs that made these tracks were mostly, they're best called ornithopod dinosaurs. They were the ancestors of duckbill dinosaurs. Dr. Spencer Lucas says these prints could possibly be from plant-eating dinosaurs like the iguanodon, but there are other prints out here that could be from scarier dinos. Clever girl. One of the meat eaters here is something in that raptor range, yeah, of the smaller meat eater. I don't know, right? Now, armed with brushes and dustpans, CNM students and researchers are cleaning up the site to study it with modern technology drones. We'll be able to map the tracks and actually recreate them, let's say, in a virtual environment that could be put on the internet, for instance. And then you could you could virtually explore the tracks, rotate them, measure that kind of thing with it. They will be creating a 3D model of the site with the use of drones. This type of project has never been done before at the Clayton site, but it will give more insight as to which dinos were here, where they were going, and how modern day erosion shifts these tracks. For students and researchers, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've actually uh, been to this site as a tourist once, but I never was off the boardwalk, so this is quite a treat, actually. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. Now, unfortunately, yesterday the group was not able to fly the drones because of the winds. They will continue their work today and tomorrow. They hope to publish the 3D map in a scientific journal and on the State Park website.